Welcome back, Aladdin and his wonderful lamp is one of the loved and most retold fairy tales of all time. This timeless story has been translated and adapted so many times since its first publication in 1704. Astrid Productions is bringing to South African theatre stages a revitalised and epic telling of this classic. This new and extravagant production of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp is showing at the Globe Suncoast in Durban, following that the show will move to Johannesburg and then finally Cape Town. This is the brainchild of producer Angel Naidu and she joins us now this morning via Zoom to share a bit more on the production. Angel, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Good morning and thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Now share a bit more on how you decided to retell one of our childhood favorite tales. Um, so uh, back in 2020 during COVID, I was hit by cancer and during my recovery, um, I was in bed and felt kind of useless because I could physically not do much. And I decided to do some writing and um, the story of Aladdin um, kind of resonated with so many situations in my own life that I decided to, to do an adaptation of that. Mm -hmm. Let's now talk about the sheer scale. I mean, the 3D projection mapping and uh, multimedia used in this production is among the biggest and most impressive South Africa has ever seen. Yes, it's one of the first productions in South Africa to include projection mapping and it is indeed a mammoth uh, and a huge show. Mm. And as you've mentioned, you went through some sort of life-threatening health journey. So did working on this give you some sort of healing and different perspective on how you perceived life? Absolutely. It gave me, a, I literally had something beautiful to focus on and it indeed gave me um, and then a goal to, to look forward to. So yes, it indeed fills that, um, you know, that uh, space of my knowing that I'm going to get through it mm. um, and to get something beautiful. So what gave you, you know, the, the urge and the drive to fight on? Um, firstly, my family, I needed, to, I needed to be there for them. Yes. And of course, you know, um, there's so much in life to live for. And I just knew that I had to find it within me, some magic within me to get myself over cancer. Um, I've literally had one after the another. So I've been, um, you know, I've had three cancers in the last two years, sure. but uh, you know, God has been great. And I think also my goals and I think my innate, um, the magic within me also assisted mm, through this. Mm. Yeah, for sure. You know, Angel, this is uh, an award-winning tale and, as mentioned, favourite tale. How was it like putting everything together from the research mm -hmm. to conception and the final product? It was amazing. You know, it was um, certainly uh, a journey. Um, and I wanted to bring something to South Africa that was unique to our stages of South Africa something big, something beautiful, something colorful, but at the same time, um, you know, deliver a story of heart and kindness and honesty and love. And, you know, just to, you know, kind of deliver to South African audiences that no matter where you come from and no matter where you go, there's always a bit of magic within you. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those productions that includes a whole lot of color, music and dance. So who did you work with as part of the creative team? And do they understand the brief? Yeah, absolutely. We had many, many meetings. Um, this production took at least a year to, um, to, to, you know, to reach the stages of South Africa. So it was a lot of um, uh, conversation with regards to exactly what I wanted to see on the stage and I think we've worked with some amazing choreographers. Mm -hmm. Our main choreographer was Bertrand D'Souza um, with Shampa Gopi, uh, Gopi Krishna as well as Tanisa uh, Shender and they have done an amazing job with our dance scenes. I mean it's just phenomenal. Yeah. And how are the themes explored? I mean, that of hope, dreams, love, uh, respect and caring in this production. Um, how are those themes made to be relevant and relatable to the audience? 
so within the story, within the tale, um, and, and you know, within the acting and the uh, storyline, we deliver that. You know, um, it start from the very beginning right to the end. One will see that um, you know the story of caring, of kindness, and love and forgiveness is um, you know it just resonates throughout the production, throughout the play. How much changes have been made from the original story? Um, so, the, you know, the storyline is pretty much uh, the same. However, we've, we've made it more relevant, more modern in, in places. We've made it, uh, you know, we've added humor, hilarity, and something that any and everyone can relate to. When you say any and everyone can relate to, does that include adults, uh, seeing that, uh, you know, it's a childhood tale? No, absolutely. If you're anywhere between three and 103, you're going to enjoy Aladdin and his wonderful land. Really? There's something in this production for everyone. Yeah. And in terms of, uh, you know, adaptability and relatability, can people actually relate to a story that, uh, you know, took place in, what, 1704? Absolutely. Like I've said, we've made it relevant. Um, I mean, we've made it modern. We've included, uh, you know, we've given it a South African element, um, an international flavor. So there's a mix and a bit of everything, um, you know, and it really delivers to, to anyone that's watching um, the show, whether it be someone that loves dance, color, costumes, the animation, the mapping, the storyline, there's something to enjoy for everyone that watches the production. So what's, the show. what's that one key takeaway uh, from this production? What is it that uh, after watching people will take away with? I definitely think that people will take away the, you know, the story or the feeling of knowing that there's a, there's a piece of magic in every one of us. Uh, and no right. matter where we are right now in our lives, whether you're going through cancer, whether you, um, you know, in poverty, or whether, you, uh, no matter what you are going through in life, and um, where your journey is right now, there's always a silver lining. Mm, mm, as true. long as, you, you know, you lead with your heart. And true. the story is all about leading with your heart. True, true. And I quite like the fact that, you know, you told the story from your own personal perspective that you've conquered it all and uh, there was a silver lining in, in your story as well. So the opening night was on the 30th of September. How did that go? It was tremendous. We had a great turnout. Um, the Uruzu of Durban turned out and they were beautifully attired. It was a black tie evening. Everyone looked stunning. The food was great. The ambience was amazing. And of course, they were treated to Aladdin and the one lamp, which was beautiful. Mm. Just share with us the other show times in the other cities. So yes, so uh, we at Empress Palace from the 25th of um, November to the 4th of December. And then we moved to ICC in Cape Town, um, where we uh, the show starts on the 9th of November, uh, sorry, December to the 18th of December. All right, Angel, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Aladdin and his wonderful right. lamp is set to be a unique production of size and quality rarely seen in South Africa. The production is currently on and runs until the 9th of October at the Globe Suncoast in Durban. We just spoke to the producer, Angel Naidu.